You're listening to an archived Cabral Concept podcast. After listening to this show, check out the most up-to-date podcasts available at stephencabral.com slash podcasts or search directly on iTunes. And now, welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. And today on our Total Wellness Tuesday show, I'm looking forward to bringing you a principle that I've used for over a decade in my nutrition-based practice, and even more so now as I'm working with really hard-to-treat wellness-based issues. So let's get into it. It's part psychology, part nutrition, and I would say part overall wellness, well-being, and how that works with not only the brain, but also how the gut affects the brain. So it's a principle called crowding out or front-loading. And I'll tell you how I originally used it and how I now use it today. So originally, when I was helping clients lose weight, this literally goes back 20 years now. So 20 years ago, I say, okay, people are used to eating more calories than they should. So I don't want them to necessarily cut down on the amount of food that they're eating because then they'd be starving or they'd at least feel like they're starving, right? So I say, how can I get the same quantity of food in but less calories? So I just need to find more nutrient-dense, low-caloric-based foods. Okay, so it really wasn't that difficult. All I'd said was this. Before each one of your meals, lunch and dinner, I want you to have a big salad, That's it. And to this day, it still works. I want you to start with a salad that has some good veggies on it, some carrots, maybe some beets and spring mix lettuce. You could put in some romaine. Just you're going to use salad as a way, whether you go out to dinner or on your own, as a way to what's called front load the meal with high nutrient dense. Just means that the salad, the veggies have a lot of great nutrition in them but they're very low in calorie. They're high in fiber. So it takes you maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes to eat the salad. Then that sends signals to your brain after about 15, 20 minutes that you're starting to get full because you put a lot of substance in your stomach, right? So great principle. It didn't deprive people of eating more food and it allowed them to feel like they were eating the same amount of food, even though they were now getting drastically less calories, okay? Now, I'm not saying a low-calorie diet. I'm just simply saying I'm taking from someone from eating a 2,000-calorie meal down to a 500 to 1,000 calories per meal, which is much more normal, right? We don't need 2,000 calories per meal, unless you're a bodybuilder or something very specific, highly unlikely, or really more of like a competitive athlete, someone that's doing eight hours in the pool every day, like I've worked with Olympic... Uh, swimmers. So, okay, that's called front loading, really easy to use. The only people I don't use it for or wouldn't recommend it for in my practice would be anyone with digestive based issues, bloating, a lot of gas, those types of things. And the reason is that salad and leaves are really difficult to break down, right? So, their digestive based issues, it's typically raw vegetables, and that can lead to fermentation in the gut and just not enough digestive strength to break those down. Now, if you don't have those issues, it's really no big deal. All right. So let's get now into how I use it today in my practice beyond that. What I like to do is this a principle called crowding out. A lot of people don't want to change what they're eating food wise. They're just not ready to make that change yet. So I say, okay, work with me here. You're going to get to still eat the foods that you want to eat, but you have to eat my foods before you get to eat your foods. That's the deal. And so this is what we do. We start the day with a smoothie, right? You've heard me say this a million times. We might even do a greens powder first, and then an hour later, we'll do our smoothie. And our smoothie is going to have wild blueberries in it. It's going to have maybe some greens. It's going to have an all-in-one powder, um, like the daily support shake, the daily detox shake we recommend. It's just because that's going to have all of your vitamins, it's going to have all of your minerals, all of your electrolytes, all of your antioxidants. It's going to have everything that you need to start your day. I want people to front load their day now, not just their meals, with this massive amount of nutrition. 
right? So you get your all-in-one, which is your, your vegan-based powder. It's going to be pea and rice-based powder. It's going to be your all of your vitamins and minerals that you need. And again, you might even throw in some greens. You might decide to really go crazy and add a little maca powder, some other different, you know, superfoods, whatever you'd like, you know, maybe some flax seeds, maybe some chia seeds. Okay. But you're going to do that you're going to also have 16 ounces of fluid with that. You're going to wake up and you're going to do lemon water, maybe a pinch of sea salt, or you're going to do your greens with another 12 ounces. So you're starting your day with three glasses or more of water. So you're hydrating your day. And then, and only then, can you have your breakfast of what you would like, only if you do that smoothie first and your greens first. Okay, so that's the compromise. And then you can also do your coffee after that, but not before you do the good stuff. Now for lunch, lunch, you're going to have your vegetables that I talk about. You're going to have, whether it be a vegan-based protein or fish or something like that with your lunch as well. You're going to have some good fat as an olive oil or avocado. And then you get to do what you want after that. So here's the thing. You're always doing the good, like let's keep this really simple, right? So you're going to do the good stuff first. What's the good stuff? The good stuff is the vegetables, starting your day with berries, with antioxidants or something like that. You're doing the good stuff first so that the hope is your body starts to not only get used to having this good stuff, we're calling stuff, but it's just basically nutrients, right? Nutraceuticals. And that it's not going to want as much of the bad stuff, right? And what's the bad stuff? Well, the bad stuff are the foods that we know that cause weight gain, that cause inflammation. They're inflammatory foods. There are a lot of the grains, um, processed grains, the wheat, the breads, the dairy, the milk, and, and those types of things, okay? So the compromise is if you can't cut those out, you're going to work with me here and you're going to do the good things first and then in hopes that your body will, yeah, maybe you still have the breads and those things, but you're going to do less of them. And now you're doing less of them, but not only are you doing less of them, you're getting more of the nutrients that your body does need to keep it feeling energized, to improve your skin, improve your sleep, improve your memory, improve inflammation, which is going to improve joint pain, all of those different things. Now, if you do that first, I have a feeling that if you start your day, that's why I call it front-loading your day. If you start your day how I start my day, how we start all my wellness clients' days, all of my weight loss clients' days, if you start it that way, you're going to find that you're not going to want to ruin that great start to your day with a lot of the other processed foods, the muffins, the other stuff like that, okay? So keep in mind that this is part psychology, but it's also part physiology where we're actually changing your body, which then also changes your mind. And again, you can still do a cheat meal once a week and do whatever you want. That's the end goal. But for now, if you're not willing to change your foods, do start with my front-loading principles, start with my crowding out principles, and start with my front-loading of the day principle, which is getting in the greens, the berries, the antioxidants, the all-in-one powder. Start with that. If you start with that, even if you don't have a great lunch, even if you don't have a great dinner, well, you still won that first half of the day from when you woke up until lunchtime because you ate such great nutrition, such great food. And I'm telling you, that can make all the difference in the world. And I've seen it happen every single day in my practice. And of course, even if if we, you and I never get to speak, even if I, you and I never get to meet, I still want you to be able to use the things that I know work, that I see work every single day in my practice. So hopefully this episode helped. Um, thank you once again for tuning in. Please do share this information if it can help anyone, a parent, a coworker, a sibling, um, anyone really in your family. We have so many people, partners, spouses, living together, listening to episodes together, and then talking about it, talking about how they can implement these things in their own lives. Really love hearing that. That's what this is all about. So again, thank you once again for tuning in and thank you once again for spreading the word of the Cabral concept and really just what it represents. Before you go, I wanted to ask you this question. What if I could teach you in just a couple of hours how to transform your thyroid, hormones, adrenal, cholesterol, blood pressure, blood sugar, weight loss, energy, mood, brain, pregnancy, anti-aging, or many other health-related issues? After 20 years in private practice, after seeing and overseeing a quarter of a million client appointments, I sincerely feel I have the real-world data and have found the answer you've been searching for. So what I've done is spent hundreds of hours of my own time refining what you need to know in order to uncover your underlying root cause health issues and then begin to rebalance the body and bring it back to a state of robust health and wellness. I'm going to teach you exactly what I do in my private practice so you can understand how you got here and now what you need to do in order to heal. You'll receive all of the important success checklists, protocols, and even ways to customize it to make the program fit your busy life. 
and you'll get all of this at a fraction of the price. Let me save you the time, money, energy, stress, and frustration of not knowing what to do next. Instead of reading dozens of books on the topic and seeing multiple practitioners, I will condense everything that you need to know in just a few hours of video tutorials that you can watch and listen to anywhere. Together, we will make this healing process an enjoyable one that you can take with you for the rest of your life. I wish you all of the best of health and happiness, and I hope to be able to guide you on your healing journey through my Health Results Accelerators. Simply choose the health imbalance you're currently suffering from, and by the end of today, you'll know what went wrong and how to get well again. I guarantee it. For details, head over now to stephencabral.com forward slash courses.